Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Tristana AD carry here in season 11. You can go press the attack, lethal tempo, or hella blades. All are really strong options. If you have a hardcore heavy duty pill support like Yumi or Soraka, I prefer lethal tempo or press the attack for hardcore all-ins. If you're gonna be going for more pokey trades, then I would go for hella blades. We're gonna get an auto down on that. I haven't leveled up my E yet. Your E can make it harder since it splashes the damage in the first couple of minions. So depending on what's going on, I wouldn't do that. So we already got our splash damage on our uh, lethal tempo here. Wow, what is she doing? Oh, they're all going to die now. They try to fall in me when I have lethal tempo. How crazy is that? That's insane. Uh, yeah, so that's one really cool thing about Lethal Tempo is even though I didn't play that the best, I was kind of out of position and then I straight up walked into the Morgana Snare. It didn't matter because I had Lethal Tempo. So, yeah, it was awesome. Gonna have to whittle these guys down. Mm, miss that melee minion. Maybe you're wondering why I haven't used my E. Kind of just holding on to it with how the enemies are positioned. That's fine. Got my lethal tempo. I want to pop this to hit him on turret. It's going to blow up on them. I'll back off. I'll hit level 3 here in a second. We'll get this level 3 and then we'll all in them. Kaisa doesn't even really have an item advantage. We got this. Oh, yeah, we got the full proc. Ah, there we go. In and out. <laughs> full W resets off of full E procs on champs and full W resets off of kills and assists on Triss. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, these guys are a little in over their head. Something that's going to counter you really hard as Tristana AD carry is displacement supports like Thresh, Rakan, Alistar. They can knock you out of your jump pretty easily after you've left the ground. So there's that. We applied our lethal tempo. So we're going to take a trade with her. One really cool thing about lethal tempo on Tristan is it's so easy for her to proc uh, because of her splash damage on her E. If a champion walks anywhere near a minion that you're about to kill, then uh, obviously they're going to get splashed down really hard. We're going to go ahead and reset. I don't want to stick around for this. They're going to want to fight. We're sitting on a lot of gold. Generally, on Tristana AD carry, you want to back on a full noon quiver. It's a massive item buy for you. You're typically going to be going for Kraken or Gale Force on Trist AD carry. If you don't have any type of sustain support, no heals, no shields, it's much easier to get away with that. If you're in this weird kind of poke lane with things like Varus, maybe a Zerath support, and you don't think you can do an all-in for whatever reason, then you may just go for a shield bow first for the life still. But uh, yeah, generally it's going to be Kraken or Gale Force against their team. I think Gale Force would probably be better, but I prefer Kraken a lot more. Kraken's really strong with Hateful Tempo as well for the, all the on-hit auto attacks. Morgana doesn't have Snare, so we actually want to fight this. Mm, that's unfortunate. I'll just turn around and kill these. I don't mind. We'll shove it in. We need to get a ward down. If you're going to be up this far, I'll leave my ward in the bush. Pink wards are OP, man. They buff them in terms of vision blocking abilities. They're much better at blocking vision immediately and even when you're breaking the ward. We're on her head, got a lethal tempo. Oh, let's get our Yumi out. Yumi almost just died, <laughs> holy shit. Yumi was tanking turret aggro. I don't know if I can even heal her if she's inside me either, so it's kind of sketchy. Uh, in terms of ED, easy AD carries, I would say things like Ash or Ezreal would be a lot easier for a beginner. Tristan is by no means complicated. It's just of understanding, do I win this all in if I jump in? 
If you don't win it, obviously you don't want to do it, and you're going to want to just wait until you get a gank or something. Since we've built up a lead, I feel very confident in our all-ins. Put our E on the turret, it's going to blow up on the minions. Going to bop that. Got our lethal tempo off that as well. Lethal tempo is really nice for shoving in these waves or just taking a, a big all-in trade. I am out of mana to where we want to get out of here. Your jump costs a decent amount, 60 mana. Your E60, your Q's free. That's one really cool thing about Trist is if you're stuck in really long, boring lanes and you're trying to shove down waves, you can always just pop your Q without it costing you too much. Now, it is a long cooldown, but the no, no mana cost on it is really, really nice. I enjoy that a lot. It's one of the many things I do enjoy about Tristana. I'm going to go ahead, head back to wave with boots and a control ward. We couldn't quite afford the crit on here, so we'll get Kraken Slayer a bit later. Uh, Tristana does scale very well. She's one of the best scaling AD carries in the whole game. She has one of the highest ranges in the whole game off of her passive. She's basically a Caitlyn late game. I believe she has a bit more range than a Caitlyn. Tristana plays well with all-in supports like Leona, Rakan, Alistar. And she also plays well with peel supports because she can, like I said, just sit back and scale. So I think she has a lot of options. Something I will say, she says so she struggles against displacement so hard. She can have a lot of issues versus heavy CC enemy bot lanes. Like the Draven knock, the, uh, the Alistar knock, the Rakan, displacements in general, bot lane will mess her up. That really hurt. The EQ, the turret, I want this to blow up on them. I got my lethal tempo off that. I'm gonna blast this down. Uh, I think we can kill Kha'Zix. He's kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. He's asking for it. Get our. Ooh, it's not Kha'Zix. That's kind of neat. She's tried to run. She should have tried to stay under turret there. Got him. I didn't even have to use my E or my R or anything. That's fantastic. We can fly trap them. They'll probably want to surrender if we do it though. So there's a good chance that uh, they will try to surrender. I don't want to use my E or my Q, especially my E. They have relatively medium high cooldowns and Kais is about to walk past us. So I'll just wait. Oh, there she is. I kind of uh, messed that up. That's fine. I went in late. I wasn't really looking. I was looking at the golems. I'm tunneling pretty hard right now. Morgan is going to be scared to step up. Oh, my jump's on a cooldown anyways. It's fine. I'll act like I'm backing off. It's fine by me. I've got my lethal tempo. I will go ahead and reset. I don't know where Kha'Zix is. It's really sketchy to stay here. I'll back off. And uh, yeah, we'll go back, get full item. We'll be really, really, really strong. Looks like Yumi actually wants to stay for whatever reason. We can kill her if she just stays under turret here. Proc my lethal tempo here in a second. I want to save my E and my Q to kill her. She's starting to run away. Yeah, she's just going to leave. I think she realizes. I'm gonna reset. And yeah, we'll have crack. And after you get turret, you don't have to go bot lane anymore on Trist. You're better off just roaming mid and try to get more value that way. If the enemy bot lane does stay in shove, then that's something to consider. Just going back. For your next item, if uh, you don't go for shield bow first item, which if you have some kind of heal shield support, you don't really need to. Bloodthirster is a really good second item. 
Storm Razor is also really good, but uh, Blood Razor is fantastic on Triss. Lots of useful stats, and it builds in beautifully into an Infinity Edge setup. Since you don't want to buy IE before you have 40% crit, it, uh, you miss out on a lot of value if you do that. Oh, she's so shrewd. She's a goner. We get more kills here. Then we can't go back bot. They don't have a turret to run to. Oh no. That was really tight. That was awesome. Kills and assists, remember, resets your W. Full E procs on champs resets your W as well. Full E procs on turrets, monsters, it's only. Full E procs on champions resets your W, plus kills and assists. When you first start out playing Tristana, sometimes you'll get confused because you'll use it on a minion or a monster and you're like, what's going on here? We'll pull off. I need some fruit. I need some mana. Looks like it's up right here. If uh, it is a bad lane matchup, let's say you're playing against a Draven Alistar, one of your worst matchups, then I would say just play safe early, give up some CS if you have to, and uh, wait for a gank. Once you get a gank from your jungler, you can build up a gold lead. You're a really oppressive champion. We have lethal tempo, so we can kite this out really hard. Oh, yeah, she ran away. Dang. I love lethal tempo. Lethal tempo feels so good. It's one of my favorite keystones. Oh, I think that was a 2v3. If you can't kite a 2v4, but she wasn't really in that fight. Oh, I got red buff. Hmm, that black shield. We should just pull off here. I'm sitting on a full item buy. We'll grab dragon and then we'll reset. We haven't even seen our top laner yet. I'll jump in here in a second. Pop the wall. Use our Q. In terms of AD carry carry potential, Tristanas has that one of the highest in the game because of her W reset. If you're looking to pick something that's a little bit easier, a little less mechanically intensive, I'd say Ezreal's going to be your best bet. Super simple champion. And uh, he doesn't really need a support. Even if it's a bad lane matchup, you can just sit back on Ezreal, max range farm on Q. Tristana's, um, her, her level one isn't that great typically, and her level two is only good if they don't have dis if they don't have knockups. If they have knockups and displacements, her level two isn't that good because it's usually E in the W, then Q. So her biggest power spike is typically level three, then level six, full item. She plays really well around that. I'm gonna try to find Kha'Zix in this jungle. They might just be AFK at this point. Ooh, guess not. He's he's gonna die from that. <laughs> I used my attack move click while he was in kind of coming out invisibility, so I pinched off an auto before it was too late. She's pretending to be Kha'Zix right now. It's Nico. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I shouldn't have pushed her away. I kind of pushed Morgana away there and uh, I thought I was gonna kill her, but she lived like less than 100 HP. It's unfortunate. We'll wait. I'm very patient. And that's it, guys. That's how you play some Tristana AD carry. Dominate lane phase. Push that out of the uh, early game into the mid game. If you enjoyed this Tristana AD carry video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.